Semead Tour. Uma visitação ao vivo pelo Semead. Repórter Ítalo. Repórter Ítalo. Fica, desculpa, é a repórter Paula, tudo bem? São tantos repórteres aqui do Semead, não é? Mas muito bem, Paula. Quer dizer que você está dando uma espiada aí nas, nos painéis que estão acontecendo agora. O que, que você escolheu para mostrar para a gente? Isso mesmo, estou passando em todas as atividades que estão acontecendo aqui no Semead. Agora tem bastante coisa interessante acontecendo, mas eu estou na palestra de Keynote Speaker do professor Andrei Pavlov. Vamos dar uma olhada como Vamos que está sendo essa palestra, como que está a sessão de Keynote, que começou agora há uma hora. Vamos lá. About the mechanisms of strategic change. If we look at it through the uh, lens of, um, of complexity, of complexity theory. So that's, that's what I wanted to say about the implications of this for strategic change. Um, but Flavia also asked me to talk about the, um, the performance management side of, um, of research. And so also some of the... Um, big implications of, um, of this paradigm, of the complexity of worldview, um, are mm, exactly in the space of performance measurement and performance management. So a couple of examples here as well. Um, going back to the idea of context dependence uh, and the fact that um, individual elements or individual constituent elements of social systems are live people with free will and agency, right? actually gives us quite a lot of um, quite a lot of issues you could say uh, for the uh, traditional way of um, researching and doing performance management so for example definitions and measurements are temporary are temporary right and they're local conventions think about customer loyalty the indicator of customer loyalty right um, can you measure it can you measure customer loyalty by looking at repeat purchases well In certain cases you can, but in certain cases you can't. So for example, if you, um, if you have competition and your customers are actively deciding to buy from you repeatedly, then that's a good measure of loyalty, right? Because they have choice, um, but they choose to go to you. However, if your competition disappears, right? If somebody, if, if your, um, your competitor across the road closes shop and you're now the only shop, um, in, the, um, in, the, in the vicinity, right, in the environment, um, and your customers are forced to go to you, then repeat purchases are no longer a good indication of customer loyalty. Um, and there are lots of indicators like this because the very definition of them um, is a temporary convention and it's a local convention as well. Um, stakeholder satisfaction, for example. We can talk about measuring stakeholder satisfaction, but different... Um, locales will have different definitions of who stakeholder is and the way stakeholders are thought about um, the United States, uh, in the UK, in Germany, in Russia and in China is very different. Essa está sendo a palestra and similarly, de um, performance course, de desempenho, um, então fiquem de olho na programação para não perder as, as nada numbers. do que está acontecendo agora no CMEAD. Um, so for example, in Tem bastante coisa acontecendo então, deem uma olhada lá na, na nossa programação. 